Here's the thing. In my 20s, 30s, and well into my early 40s, I cared about things that I really shouldn't have cared about. On reflection, they didn't really matter at all. When I retired early, my priorities shifted massively. I knew these things wouldn't serve me well in retirement, and I knew something had to change. In this video, I'm going to dive into three things that are crucial for not just a happier retirement, but a happier life overall. It's all about letting go of trivial concerns and societal pressures that we've carried perhaps our whole adult lives. Why? Because the peace that comes from ditching these early adult behaviours and focusing on what truly matters is transformative, especially in retirement. So let's get into it. Throughout my journey to early retirement, I realised one important thing. Many of the pressures we face are created by expectations, both our own and those of others, whether it's maintaining a certain lifestyle or feeling like we always need to compete with other people. These pressures can prevent us from living authentically. The first thing you should stop doing in retirement is comparing yourself with other people. It's so easy to look at celebrities or even people around us and feel like we're not doing enough. But here's the truth. Much of their lives are an illusion. Behind the polished facade are real people with real problems that we just don't know about. All we see is the shiny thing they want us to see. I learned that focusing on my own path rather than comparing my life to someone else's social media reel brings me much more peace and satisfaction. I won't lie, comparing myself to others has been something I've been guilty of for at least 20 to 30 years of my life. It was one of my key drivers between the ages of 20 and 40. But once I retired at 44, I knew my priorities had to change. The life-changing events that preceded my retirement completely shifted my priorities. Now I couldn't care less what other people are doing or what they've got. I focus solely on my journey and how I can use my experience to help others on their journey. I joke with my friends that my secret sauce since retirement is lack of ambition. I know many men in their 60s like me who are still chasing awards, accolades and shiny things. I think they're mad wasting the youth of their senior years on such trivial things. But hey, it's their decision. My focus is on family, on growing my mind and living a fulfilling and rewarding retirement lifestyle. I couldn't care less what other people are doing. The second thing you need to leave behind in retirement is the accumulation of shiny stuff to impress other people. By that, I mean cars, watches, houses, fashionable items. These were my weaknesses in my 20s and 30s. Looking back, I now realise I was just insecure. Once I hit my mid-40s and I was retired, I didn't need to be insecure anymore. I had more important things to focus on. I didn't need these badges of honour that drove me on in my 20s and 30s. I didn't want to be part of the cult of materialism. Trying to impress others with what you own is like running in a rat race. A rat race to be King Rat. It's a rat race that nobody truly wins. Nobody, that is, except the people who are selling you the stuff. Throughout my 20s, 30s and 40s, I found myself buying stuff that I just didn't need. Who needs four cars? Yes, you heard that right. I had four cars. You can only drive one of them at any time. I lost count of the number of watches that I owned and I needed five wardrobes just to store my clothes. Who was I trying to impress? These people didn't care about me and I didn't care about them. Retirement following the death of my father was a wake up call. Realising that my self-worth wasn't tied to possessions was a liberating moment for me. The large house in the countryside, the holiday apartment, have now been replaced by a modest house in the city. The five cars have been replaced by a single electric vehicle. It's easier to manage and it's easier to maintain. Life is just so much simpler. The more stuff you have, cars, houses, clothes, the more time and stress you have managing and maintaining them. That was my discovery. I'll continue to downsize my lifestyle for the next 20 or 30 years. My son won't need to spend too much time clearing away my stuff when my time is up. Swedish death cleaning is on my radar. The third thing is personal boundaries. This was a game changer for me, learning to say no without feeling guilty. This helped me conserve my time and my energy for people and things that really mattered. 
Your time is your most precious asset, especially in retirement. Don't let others dictate how you use it. Don't spend any time doing things you don't want to do with people you don't want to spend time with. Unless it's absolutely essential, make sure you spend your time with the people you're close to, your family and your close friends. I find it easier now to say no, and I never offer an explanation as to why not. No simply means no. I don't have to justify it, especially to people that I don't know particularly well. If you let them, people will take a piece of you. Just say to them, I'm sorry, I'm not available. I now choose carefully what invitations to accept. Time is too precious to spend it doing things that I don't particularly like with people I don't particularly like. Retirement gives you choices, whether or not you want to work, who you want to work with and when you want to work. And if you don't want to work, you don't have to. That's the idea. In retirement, it's your choice. It was worse for me because I'm an introvert. I don't enjoy large gatherings of people. Huge business networking events for me were hell. Office Christmas parties full of people and loud music were hell. I've enjoyed retirement life because it's meant no more corporate networking, no more corporate golf days, no more Christmas parties. Now I just get to spend time with the people I love and the people who are my close friends in small intimate gatherings. And as an introvert, that works best for me. It doesn't drain my energy. I love every minute of it. The change from being a disciple of the cult of materialism and the pursuit of accolades and awards wasn't an instant process after I retired. It was more gradual. Early on in retirement, I still bought stuff. The difference being, I was buying it because I was bored. I wasn't trying to impress people. But there was a moment early in my retirement when I discovered the concept of minimalism and it really resonated with me. So I decided to embrace minimalistic principles. Since retiring, I've got rid of 75% of my stuff. 75% of the things I owned have either been sold, given away to charity or dumped. The impact has been profound. I am lighter, more in control and genuinely happier. It's been like getting rid of a heavy weight, a heavy rucksack on your back that has finally been put down on the floor. I can't recommend the principles of minimalism enough to you. Please look into them. You won't regret it. So how can you start making these changes so that your retirement is rewarding and fulfilling? Well, I think you've got to begin small. Choose one area to focus on. Maybe start by unsubscribing from all those email newsletters that keep pouring into your inbox. More often than not, they're tempting you to buy things. Or perhaps say no to that unnecessary commitment. Remember, small steps lead to big changes and you have to start somewhere. You can't do it overnight. To wrap this video up, just remember these three points. Stop the comparisons. Don't chase material satisfaction and set personal boundaries. As you work on these, I'd love to hear your stories. Please leave them in the comments. If you've already tackled these issues, please let us know in the comments so that it helps others. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to click the bell icon so you don't miss out on further insights in how to lead a rewarding and fulfilling retirement life. Look out for my next video when I'll explore more topics to help you build a rewarding and fulfilling retirement. Until then, take care and remember, make every second count.